to the biggest days of the college basketball season or the first and second day of the NCAA tournament with 16 games on each day and apparently the NCAA men's college basketball tournament is not a very friendly time for employers. It seems that many workers or fans have no idea what the names are of about 97% of the players performing or where their schools are located. Much of the interest is because of gambling, illegal gambling, and the truest definition of wagering. Office pools, brackets, whatever it is called, and generally at penny ante prices. But betting has become a lure, and people like Warren Buffett have decided brackets are good for company morale, and the games help lift spirits. For two days a year, they allow workers to slack off. Buffett in the past offered workers a million dollars. If those workers were able to figure out what teams advanced, to the second phase of the action. The so-called Sweet 16, or the 16 colleges that got to that portion of the tournament. Apparently, there's a lot of betting going around. WalletHub, a website, estimates that gamblers spent about $10 billion on 2018 bets, with about $9.7 billion in illegal gambling. If you wonder why various states around America have sports books, the states won a piece of the action. Nevada casinos made an estimated $100 million in profit on basketball in the spring of 2018. Most of that money coming from the NCAA tournament and some of it from the NBA. About the worker productivity part, Wallet Hub claims that 81% of the human resources people that were contacted said their companies have no office pool policies. Besides, 89% of the workers say the tournament builds office morale. WildHub says the tournament may have cost companies about $7 billion as workers' productivity fell. The NCAA doesn't like sports gambling, but it helps business. It's madness. I'm Evan Weiner for the politics of sports business.